Hey, thanks, Danielle. Welcome to News 4 Tucson Sports today. Coming to you from the 2020 Kologar Classic here at Omni Tucson National Resort. I'm David Kelly alongside Paul C. Kala. Day two is in the books, and what a day two it was. In fact, Paul, you got a chance to hang out with some of the celebrities today at the Celebrity Challenge. Good time. As, as you know, last year they had Oscar De La Hoya and Alfonso Riviero. This year in the back nine, it was Roger Clemens, the former Major League Baseball pitcher. Of course, Rusty Wallace, the NASCAR driver. Lee Bryce the famous country singer and Larry the Cable Guy. Good times out there. Yeah, well, I think the guy that everybody came to see was indeed Larry the Cable Guy, and I had a chance to catch up with him before he hit the links today, and I tell you what, uh, even the simplest of questions turns into comedy when you're talking to Larry the Cable Guy. Get her done. I heard you got a real good story about uh, your best drive in golf. Tell me about that. You know what? It was unbelievable. Uh, my, my longest drive in golf. Uh, was when uh, was the drive home after I shot a 110. That was my longest drive I've ever had. Well, he only had to play nine holes today, Paul, so I hope he didn't shoot a 110 out there. Yeah, I mean, probably more like 115, 120. I, he didn't do too bad out there, but you know what? In the end, once they don't hit par, they move on. So that's how they do it to keep it going. So I'm sure he won't get 110. All right, away from the celebrities, let's check in with the real golfers and get you up to date on what happened today in round number two. Now that's how you do a house on the ninth hole at the Kolagar Classic. Sure you owe me, lady. And about the award for the biggest gallery of the day going to one involving legends Bernard Longer and Freddie Couples. Brett Quigley started the day as your leader, nine under, and he immediately had a chance to submit that one number lower with an eagle chance, but just a little bit left. Still a birdie, though. And he'll be playing for the Conquistadors helmet on Sunday. And who needs a lot more when you have birds? Scott McCarron on 17. Uh, that's a birdie. McCarron, though, way down the leaderboard. Willie Wood, though, won two state titles at Sabino High School. And check out his approach here on number eight. It does not get much better than this. Setting yourself up for birdie. But you've got to putt for the dough, and Wood does not finish. He's got to settle for the par. And speaking of big galleries, how about a ton of folks following the eccentric superstar John Daly? Six under to start the day, eight under when we caught up with him on number nine. And speaking of nine, how about we head to nine under on a 60-foot Bird John Daly brings them to their feet as only the legend can. And Brett Quigley remains your leader at 14 under, Paul. That's right, and right behind him we have Fred Couples, who was two shot back at 12 under, and then of course Rob Pampling, then Miguel Angel Jimenez at 11 under as well. Bernard Langer follows him, and of course Robert Carlson's in the mix at 10 under. All right, we're not done out here at the Colagar Classic. When we come back, we're going to talk some high school basketball. Four teams fighting for state titles. One got it done. News for Tucson Sports tonight. Coming right back at you. Keep it here.